Hello everybody, it is Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com, the creator of SexGeekSummerCamp.com, and when the green shirt's on, this is business advice for sex educators, but also might be really useful for non-sex educators, because we have the world's foremost lube geek authority with us, Sarah Miller, spelt like Mueller, but pronounced Miller, from Smitten Kitten and other areas of awesomeness, when people go deep, pun intended, into geekery, no one goes deeper than you when it comes to lube. So just give us like a few minutes of like what you do and where people can find you, Sarah. I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm going to shut up now. Okay. Thank you. Um, I appreciate your enthusiasm about lubricants because not everyone is as into it as I am. Um, but yeah, so I work as uh, a sex educator at the Smitten Kitten, which is a progressive sex education focus sex toy store in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, and my official job title is lead research and education developer. Um, so what started out as a project just about lube has now expanded to other topics, but like lube is still my heart and my favorite thing to talk about <laughs> in and outside of work. So um, I've been researching personal lubricants, their ingredients, how they interact with the body, um, and interact with specific health concerns that affect the genitals for over two years now. Um, and I've been doing a presentation called Lube, an in-depth look at personal lubricants um, for a little over a year now, and it keeps evolving because new research is always happening. Um, so it is particularly relevant to sex educators, um, health and wellness professionals that deal with sex and genital function, um, but it's really helpful for anybody who's teaching risk reduction, any sort of safer sex practices. Um, and I'm going to be doing that class three different times um, via a webinar. Um, so you can find information about that at smittenkittenonline.com or any of our social media and purchase tickets. Um, tickets are $45. It's an hour and a half long class with a half an hour for Q&A. Um, but the price is a sliding scale fee. So if you can't afford that but that information is going to help you do your job better like I want you to have that information so let me know um, and so yeah it's just a really in-depth look at common lubricants ingredients it focuses primarily on water-based lube but does touch on all different kinds of lube and then a really in-depth look at how do your genitals work the mucus mm -hmm. membranes on the genitals and then how do lubes factor into that how to shop for lubes how to recommend lubes um, and what ingredients that are common in lubricants are really doing to the mucous membranes on your genitals. And that's, I mean, one of the things you were like the first person to get me to wrap my mind around was like lube on a cellular level. Um, yeah. And you taught me the word that I'm not going to be able to pronounce. Um, is osmo uh, Shoot. What's the thing with water goes in or out of cells? So that's called osmosis. Yes. Um, and then what pertains to lubricant is osmolality. That's it. So that's the that's a value in your in a in a water-based lubricant um, that interacts with the mucus on your mucous membranes and the mucous membranes themselves. So it's a really weird word. It's kind of a tricky concept and I'll go really in depth into it in the webinar, but it really is one of the two most important factors in a lubricant um, in determining if it's body friendly and if it's safe to use. Yeah, and thank you for that because that was really – that was something I hadn't considered before. Um, and from a body safe perspective, like just thank you for making me better at understanding that stuff and giving me a killer Scrabble word, by the way. Yeah, Because totally. if you can throw that one down, you just you just win um, big time. <laughs> um, so the webinar – because people might be watching this in the – after the webinars happened. Mm -hmm. um, so where do they go to find you? Because I also know that organizations and, and, and companies can bring you in to lecture. Um, and there's a lot of uh, college administrators and, and types who also watch my YouTube channel. So they may want to bring you to universities and things like that. How do people find you? Um, and, and where do they go? Right, yeah. So people can always email me. My email is sarah, S-A-R-A-H, at smittenkittenonline.com. Um, but they can also go to our website. And we have a um, drop-down tab that says education. And there's mm -hmm. a specific menu for health and wellness professionals. So that would include sex educators, other kinds of educators, and people who are doctors, nurses, midwives, etc. Um, so we have we have a whole curriculum of courses that we can teach in person or via webinar. 
Um, and then we also have a lot of educational resources. And I'm always up for answering questions via email. So. Okay. Thank you so much for all that you do um, and the geekery and, and for making me better at, at being a sex educator. Um, and good luck with the webinar. And uh, I'm going to promote this video out to the, to the world. And um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for all the work that you do um, and for letting me talk about lube for a while. Woohoo, lube! Yeah. All right, bye. Leave comments below. What are your thoughts on lubes? Uh, what's your favorite lube word? Uh, and share this video. Bye. I hope this business geekery was useful for you. If you'd like to continue with the brain sex, click on subscribe up here. If you want to follow me on social media, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Next video below. And if you'd like your very own Sex Geek Summer Camp t-shirt, then just click right here, right now.